So guess who just finished 10 Sentai seasons? This girl. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Brit and if you haven't subscribed yet you probably should because I talk about geeky things and today we're not going to talk about Power Rangers oddly enough but we are going to talk about Super Sentai which of course basically is Power Rangers. It's the Japanese show that they take footage from to create Power Rangers so at the end of the day we're still talking about Power Rangers. <laughs> so I have now seen Jetman through Time Ranger and since I think Car Ranger had kind of it had it in my head that I wanted to rank all of them after I'd seen Time Ranger because Time Ranger will be will have been the 10th Sentai that I have seen. So I did that today and it was quite clear which ones I didn't like um, because I didn't like them. But when it came to ranking the ones that I did like, oh man, that was hard because at the end of the day, like I love all of the ones that I like a lot. They are all so good. So it was really hard for me to do, but I did it and um, the results surprised me a little bit to be completely honest with you but the way I rank things is I basically take it and go which would I rather watch this one or this one I'd rather watch this one okay which one would I rather watch this one or this one and essentially at the end of the day I'll eventually figure out by putting together that jigsaw puzzle what the order is and it's all based on what I would rather watch instead of others this is the list of how I would rewatch them so number 10 my least favorite Sentai, and probably will remain my least favorite Sentai for a while, uh, is Car Ranger. Car Ranger, I think, took me six months to finish. Dylan and I watched it, started watching it when he was here for my birthday, and I think I finally finished it last March or April. So it's been about a year. I actually did start to like it towards the end. But I'm sorry, if you can't capture me sooner than that, I just don't like you. And the only reason I finished it was the same reason that I finished Samurai, it's because I just wanted to. It's not one that I would ever choose to watch again. Uh, I, I could not see myself ever watching it again. I just felt like it was cheesy and not in a good way. Um, dancing cars. Dylan knows what I'm talking about. I feel like the characters were just not great. I did like the love story. That's actually when I started getting into it was during that love story and I became way too obsessed with that love story but you know it is what it is. There are better love stories in Sentai and we're gonna get there. But yeah Car Ranger was just goofy and it was meant to be goofy and it explained a lot about Turbo to be completely honest. But I basically felt about Car Ranger like I feel about Turbo. It's just not good. Um, I just didn't like it. I felt like so much of it was just weird and just goofy and I just didn't like it. And I know why it was meant to be goofy because there was a lot of drama about O-Ranger um, in Japan the time it came out. So they decided to save the franchise by making something just absolutely hilarious and comedic. I don't know, maybe the humor was just lost on me. I just didn't like it. It wasn't good. It took me forever to finish it, but I finally did. So there you go. Car Ranger, number 10. Probably will be my least favorite Sentai that I will ever see in my entire life. I don't care how cheesy it gets. Car Ranger was terrible. Number nine is O-Ranger. Um, O-Ranger, God, that was so let down by O-Ranger. Um, so I grew up loving Zeo. And literally the only reason I love Zeo is because I told the future. But I can't tell the future because Jason isn't the King Ranger in O-Ranger. So I was really let down by O-Ranger because I felt like I was gonna love it because of how I felt about Zeo, like, nostalgically. But at the end of the day, like, O-Ranger, I just felt like wasn't all that great. I felt like the storylines were off. Um, I just felt like it just didn't feel like Super Sentai to me. They took a little, I mean, like, I've seen serious Sentais, obviously, but like, I don't know. There's just something about it that just did not sit well with me. I found it boring most of the time. The characters were fine. Like they, it wasn't like they were completely unmemorable. There were good moments, there were good episodes. But for the most part, I would watch Zeo a hundred times over from watching O-Ranger ever again. But I would also watch O-Ranger before I ever watched Car Ranger. Like if somebody were putting a gun to my head and said, you need to watch either O-Ranger or Car Ranger, I'd say pop in the shaped helmets. Let's watch us some O-Ranger. Number eight on my list is Kaku Ranger. As much as this breaks my heart because Jiaira will always be my favorite Sentai character in his in the history of Sentai. But, and Kaku Ranger started out great. Like I remember starting Kaku Ranger just being like, this is funny. It was so good at first. And then it just got 
boring as time went on. Um, and I was super interested in Cocker Ranger. I wasn't excited necessarily to see Cocker Ranger, but I was I was intrigued by Cocker Ranger, if only just because of the fact that obviously they told it backwards in Power Rangers. So I was just curious to see what that looked like and what that meant. And so that was really fun to see. I just, I don't know, as time went on, I just grew bored of it and I just didn't care for it anymore. And it just, it was hard to, cause like obviously they were still using the Ranger suits. So it was really hard for me to do the watch the Sentai, watch the corresponding Power Ranger season because they didn't use until Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, they didn't use the Cocker Ranger suits. So they just used the Zords and the monsters. So it just, it felt a little off. It felt a little different um, for me. Wasn't a fan. That's all. So those are the only ones I didn't like. Let's start with the ones that I did like. Number seven is Zhu Ranger. And I think the only reason I like Zhu Ranger as much as I do is because it's the first Sentai I've ever seen. Um, so nostalgia there, but also because it is what created Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And so I obviously have a very special place in my heart for Zhu Ranger for that reason. I really like Budai and I know a lot of people don't, which is weird. Like I love Budai. Budai is my favorite character from that season. I don't know. I feel like I end up liking the sixth Rangers a lot in Sentai, which is strange, but also makes me sad because that's not the case for Time Ranger. But especially since the sixth Ranger is my favorite character in Power Rangers. So I don't know. Anyway, I did like Budai a lot. Um, I felt like a lot uh, about that season was just really good, but it just wasn't as good as some of the others that I've seen. Not as emotional. It was a little cheesier than the other ones that I've seen. And I don't know. I just, it, it was very easy for me to put that lower on my list, even though I love it. So there you go. Zhu Ranger is a lot lower on my list than seven year old me would have ever thought. <laughs> Number six on my list was GoGo5. Um, so GoGo5 impressed me a lot because I went into it with very low expectations. Kind of like how I went into O-Ranger with high expectations because I loved Zeo so much when I was a kid. I went into GoGo5 with such low expectations because I just don't like Lightspeed Rescue. I know that's a travesty in the Power Ranger community. So I went into GoGo5 with very low expectations. So I think that's probably why I liked it so much, but it is a little, still a little bit lower on the list. So obviously, um, it probably was just the low expectations and then having them be me at times a ton. But I felt like the mother storyline was so cool. I really liked the dynamic of it being two families at war with each other. I fell in love with one of the villains, which I mean, is it okay that my favorite character is a villain? Is it okay that I'm attracted to one of the villains, even though he's a monster? I don't know. I don't know. And uh, it was very weird to see him because I never got that far in Lightspeed Rescue the first time I watched Lightspeed Rescue. So it was really weird this time after watching Go Go 5 and then finally finishing Lightspeed Rescue. Like it was just really weird to see him in that. And I'm going to talk about that when I, watch, when I, my, when I make my Lightspeed Rescue um, video at some point in the future. Number five on my list is Ginga Man, which when I first watched Ginga Man would not have been where it would be. Uh, it would have been much higher on my list. And I think I even remember Dylan asking me would I'd rather watch Ginga Man or Die Ranger. And at one point I said Ginga Man. And I think that was just because I was on such a high with Ginga Man. Because here's the thing. With Ginga Man, I was very excited to see it because it's always been a Sentai I've wanted to see because of Lost Galaxy. Because of the things that I see in the Sentai from Lost Galaxy. And there were just things I needed to know the true stories of, where they actually came from. And it just did not disappoint. It was so good. Um, but after I kind of took a minute and today to really think about it, this is where Ginga Man truly belongs on my list, um, midway through. It's such a good season. But at the same time, there are just more emotional moments in other seasons that I just think top it by quite a bit. So, though, uh, you know, there are definitely emotional moments that made me weep in Ginga Man. So there's that. Number four on my list is Jetman. Um, so if you guys are unfamiliar with my love of Jetman, so <laughs> I started watching Jetman because it had a girl blue ranger this would have been obviously after ninja storm but i found out about jetman prior to ninja storm so for me there had never been a girl blue power ranger when i fell in love with the idea of jetman and as a matter of fact somewhere on an old computer we i have a powerpoint of me having created a power ranger season based on jetman i started writing the story i had a powerpoint of like the characters and who they were and it 
I just really loved the idea of Jetman because blue is my favorite color, I'm not a girly girl, and me liking a boy color uh, has always been a place of like weirdness with people. I don't know why, but it's like, people have a real problem with me liking blue. I mean, not any, not really. I mean, it's family members who think that I need to be wearing pink every single day. I hate the color pink. I have this aunt that only had boys and she felt like she needed to dress me in pink because I was her little doll that she could dress up. But you know, at the same, so like things like that, like people just <laughs> didn't like that I liked blue when they wanted to dress me in pink. So I really related. <laughs> to that season for that reason and that's why I wanted to like Ninja Storm as much as I ended up not initially liking Ninja Storm but I really wanted to for that same reason and that's why Tori's my favorite character. At the same time like I don't know uh Jetman was just one that I really wanted to watch and then I did after I saw Zhu Ranger I ended up finding now this was back when I did watch things illegally um mind you I do not watch these illegally anymore I only watch what is legally available in the United States, what has been licensed and released by Shout Factory, which is the only stuff that is legally available in the United States unless you buy directly from Japan and no Japanese because there will not be English subtitles in that. I did watch Jetman and I was like, oh, and I fell in love with it even more. So I was like early 20s, I think. Maybe I was still 19. I don't remember. I was living in St. Cloud when I first watched it. And it just was so good and I loved it. So it was my favorite for a long time. So the fact that it's number four now makes me sad. But it's okay because the three that have taken over as my favorites deserve their spots and I'm very excited about it. Number three on my list is Die Ranger. So Die Ranger became my favorite when I saw it. What, wow, like four years ago now, I suppose. When I first saw it, when it was first released. Yeah, I watched it and I fell in love with it. It was my favorite. And I remember telling Dylan, I cannot believe Jetman was dethroned but you know, really deserved it. And it remained my favorite until my number two. Number two on my list is Mega Ranger. So Mega Ranger was another one that I was very intrigued to see because I knew that the differences between the Power Ranger season and the Sentai. Um, and so I was not like spoilery wise, but like storyline wise. So I was very curious to see this season um, and, and it did not disappoint at all. I felt like it was just very well done. A lot of things about it were just very emotional and very well done. The end of that season, I never thought I'd cry like that during a Sentai until my number one favorite, which you guys should know because I haven't said it yet, but I, I cried at the end of that season. Such a good season. Yeah, just such a good season. I just loved it so much. That's all I can say. And number one is Time Ranger. Um, I, even when I finished Time Ranger this afternoon, did not think I was gonna put it at number one. I, I legitimately did not think that that was going to happen. But as I was doing my, which one, I, which one would I rather watch? At the end of the day, Time Ranger was just such a good story. And what's really funny is it's so similar to Time Force. Like, they followed the Sentai so very well, obviously some changes, some major changes even, but they followed the Sentai so beautifully and I love Time Force, but that's why I like forced myself to finish it today because I was originally gonna finish it like Tuesday because of how I was watching it, but I decided to actually take the time to watch a Sentai today. I said no to Sims today so that I could watch it because at the end of the day, like it just made me miss Time Force but it was so good. The characters were great, the storylines were amazing. I just felt like everything about it was just so good. I don't think it's like Ginga Man where I'm on this high with it right now uh, and that maybe I should have waited a few months before I did this video, but at the end of the day, it was such a good season and I loved it. So I don't know, that's, that's where my list lands right now. We'll see what happens when I get to 15 seasons. Um, I think I'll redo it at 15 seasons and we'll just kind of keep going until I've seen all of them maybe, if Shout eh, ever releases another season. Come on, I want Abba Ranger! So bad, so, though something massive was spoiled for me about that. <sighs> Thank you, Trent from Dino Thunder. So there you go, that's my list. So Toku community, let me know in the comments below what your favorite seasons of Super Sentai are. Obviously there are some I have not seen that a lot of you have. Please no spoilers in the comments below. Number one, for ones that I have not seen and number two, 
for ones that others have not seen, um, especially if they're not legally available in the United States because who knows when I will be able to see them or some of my friends who have also vowed to not watch things illegally. Um, I just don't like spoilers in the comments. So please, if you are going to spoil something, give a spoiler tag in your comments, but please preferably just don't. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of my list. Let me you know, know what seasons you think I'm gonna like coming up and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So that is all, and I'll see you guys all next week. If you guys want to see more of my content, you can click right here. Maybe I'll just put like the ranking all of the Blue Rangers, because why not? Because like I said about, you know, Jetman, uh, that's why I fell in love with Jetman. If you guys want to see um, just, I don't know, my last story time maybe, <laughs> we'll put it up right here, why not? Enjoy. Guys, have a good day.